We're, we're going to try and do exactly what I tried to do a moment ago. Okay. Okay, some confusion there, but that's okay. Webcam magic, everybody. Um, what the hell was I saying a moment ago? Anyway, get your bingo card ready. Don't miss a thing. Let me know in chat if we hit a bingo, bingo square, and uh, we will figure out which format we play on Monday if and when we uh, hit a bingo. All right. I remember the clock. Thank you, Roland, for the reminder. <clears throat> I'm sure if you saw our intro with the the epic music, we we hit a bingo square already. Scry? Oh, okay, okay. I will uh, knock that off the bingo. Thank you, everybody. I'm so, I'm sure everybody saw the bracket already. Roland Chang is here to defend the monarchy, and uh, Jason Murray will be joining us in round two. Ben is here. Hello, Ben. Two Bens are here. Ben Frank's Baby Picks and, and the other Ben. Bren Kubashik? Am I pronouncing it correctly? I don't know how to pronounce your name. Everyone get your onslaught fetches because geez. And raid. Oh, we did have a raid. You're right. We did have a raid. Let's knock that off the bingo square too. I will bring up the bingo card between games. And uh, yes, thank you, Rich, for the raid. Appreciate it. Rich also streams some um, old school magic. If that's if that's uh, something that would interest you, check check out that channel, Rich Bork's channel. And if you don't like, uh, if you don't know about old school, check it out because it's a pretty cool format. All right, omniscience already on the table. It appears. Let's turn to the players because I missed what happened there. Might as well just be hungry at that point. <laughs> All right, some shuffling happening. Everybody's favorite thing, shuffling. Might as well be 100 at that point. Draw off of Ponder. Uh, I will attempt to cast Grizzlebrand. That's good enough. All right, game one goes to Sneak and Show. And that's kind of how it goes, folks. These Sneak and Show decks just uh, just kind of go off. There's the bracket that I mentioned a moment ago. We're in round one. Witherbloom Smog does look like the new hotness if you pair it with a totally underappreciated card, Delver. Yeah, Delver was in the deck yesterday, and I'm sure that accounted for some of the wins for sure. Roland, thanks for the 500 bits. Appreciate it. Where's Roland on the bits leaderboard now? He's got to be up there. Fifth place. He's catching up. All right. <clears throat> Getting ready for game two and a ponder to start the game for Blackman. So, you know, open deck list. You're on the play against Sneak and Show. What are you, what are you trying to make sure you have in your hand, chat, if you're Miracles? Besides counter magic, I don't know what else. You got your 90s MTG Spicy t-shirt. Awesome. If it, if anybody gets their uh, t-shirts, and I'm getting a few more t-shirts for myself in the mail soon. They've already been shipped. Um, if anybody gets their t-shirts and, and wants to share them and tag 90s MTG on social media, I will I will share your photo and make sure you get lots of likes. Luanil, thanks for the 625 bits. Thank you, Luanil. I appreciate you guys. I really do. Jason and Roland. Some of the um, some of the best players and friends that anyone could ask for. All right, Luanil. I mean, Luanil's not playing right now. What am I saying? Corey. <laughs> uh, uh, also a turn turn one ponder. I'm getting all confused now. Let's tune to the players now. Uh, I will play a flooded strand and fetch. Sure. I am down to nineteen. 19. I'll knock Twitch cheer off the bingo card. We did that. We definitely did that. Thank you, Roland and Luanil. <clears throat> All right, so fetch. And uh, for some reason, Corey. I'm going to tap my island, totals. and I'm yep. going to attempt to cast preordain. Multiples of six. Good one. Preordain. One, two. I will put one on top and one on bottom. I was talking also with Phil 
and Corey, before we got started, all three of us are really excited about Strixhaven. There's a lot of really cool cards in this set. And Corey pointed out a few gems, possibly for Legacy, worth trying out in Legacy. Dragon's Guard Elite, he thinks could be Legacy playable. I'm going to share the link in chat now so everybody could check these out. Um, Dragon's Guard Elite is one. And the other one was, these are Corey's picks so far. Belful Mastery is his other pick. Let me link that one in chat now. Um, let me know what you think of those cards, chat and YouTube. Because they look pretty good to me. I'm, I'm unsure if Belful Mastery and or Dragon's Guard Elite are playable in Legacy, but I'm curious what everybody else thinks. It arrived today. Nice. <laughs> Ben's Ben's trying to figure out how lucky Roland feels today, and and Roland says always lucky. So there you go, Ben. Commit all those channel points. Also, I should I should announce that Luanil is also a, a hype train conductor. In case anybody was wondering, there's containment priest, brainstorm. Chain of Smog looking better and better, says Anarchy. What's up, Anarchy? Clever Luma Mancer on the radar, too. Yeah. Yeah. We talked about that one yesterday quite a bit. Um, that card looks really I'm going to go back one, two, just like that. Who? Hello? Yeah, go ahead. On tap. Trigger. Draw. All right. We got the center square. I'll move right. to my draw. I will play... Polluted Delta, and then I yep. will fetch. Yep. Man, all this damage is adding up real quick. You're you're helping out. I need that clock. I'm a beatdown deck. All right. My whole life, I've lived in the red zone. <laughs> Duly noted. Um. Yeah, a card that will be in the Mystical Archive. And the Mystical Archives, of course, make it look cool, make the set look really cool. Um, I will attempt to cast Defense Grid. Mm. That's going to mm. be a problem. Corey mentioned that he's uh, picking up a collector booster box for Strixhaven in, in Seek of some Mystical Archives. If you do pick up Collector booster boxes, and if you do like shopping on TCG Player, be sure to use our TCG Player affiliate link. We get a kickback on all those purchases, and it helps the show out a lot. It really does. I'll play Ponder. Ponder. Sure. Defense Grid resolved. It's bad news for, for Phil, who happens to have two mana open right now. One, two, three. Draw. Go ahead. I'm going to crack this in my upkeep. Okay. True Chains, what's up? I'm glad you're able to catch us live. A cleric attacked. Oh, I will knock that off the bingo card. Good catch. I'll bring up the bingo card between games. We hit about five squares. So, yeah, five squares so far. What's up, Side Norna? How's it going? Sure, sure. Yep. Side Norna's always here hanging out. I will start by beating down. Ouch. I am currently F6. Oh, I thought you said it was at 6. You said F6. Okay. Uh, play this mountain for turn. Okay. And pass. On tap. Yep. Upkeep. Draw. I will play City of Traders. Sure. I'll tap four. Okay. Um, I will play Vendillion Click. Cards in hand? I have five. 
Five cards. Currently, deck lists are only in Cardboard Live, so I don't know. Click. What happens here? Uh, I'll power blast it. Four mana for power blast? I'll spell Pierce your power blast. Okay. Oh. I will target you with Vendillion Click's ability. Interesting. You know, the heart tells me to take the Terminus, but that's probably not the right play. So I guess I'll just take the Swords to Plowshares. So you've got Portent, Terminus, and STP. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, Island is what I meant to say. Yeah, I know, I know about the defense grid. I don't know why I said that in such a confused manner, but I, that's the way I said it. I don't know. <laughs> Doctor? Yep. Does Vendillion like do anything on the bingo card? I don't think so, right? No. Uh, I like my draw. I'll ponder. Okay. All right, here's a ponder resolving here. Uh, draw. Containment Priest is still in play. That's uh, something. I will play my island out and pass. Doesn't uh, stop on missions. Yep. Draw. It does something. Omniscience gets right through the uh, Containment Priest. I will play ponder. Sure. Sneak attack does not, though. Sneak attack is a problem. Chat felt like Sneak and Show is going to be. Okay. Chat felt like Sneak and Show is going to be favored against Miracles. Historically, does does Miracles struggle against Sneak and Show? Do you feel Chat? Is Sneak and Show um, favored against Miracles? Is that is that a, a matchup um, Sneak and Show wants to be up against? Uh, I'll brainstorm. Sure. Brainstorm. Yes, especially the list with Omni. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seems tough for miracles. <clears throat> One, two. Uh, I'll float two mana. Okay. I'll play Flooded Strand. Sure. I'll fetch. Sure. That's true, Gothmog. That's true. Steak and Show does afford combo decks quite a bit of time, usually. I'll attempt to ponder again. Sure. Lots of cantripping here. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll shuffle. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> now that you've said this statistic, I've come to the realization that I've shuffled off ponder five of five times this match. I mean, it's pretty much because uh, across every matchup, if you just count, let's say you cast ponder a hundred times across a variety of matches, you shuffle 96 of them. Fair, fair. Looks like he's crafting. Yeah, it seems like. Um, it. And then I'll pass something specific. I have four in hand. Cool. Oh, I didn't know you were in New York, Rich. Or maybe I did know that. I don't remember. <laughs> I'm in New York as well. New York City, but New York State. I know of two. Uh, I'm going to crack this flooded strand. Okay. Uh, 
I'm going to get a Mystic Sanctuary targeting my Pyroblast. Okay. Blackman has to get rid of this defense grid. <laughs> you have I'm going to cast Brainstorm. Okay. <laughs> People have all kinds of reasons here. Oh, you're in Buffalo, New York. Nice, Cure Kid. New York. Deck with Soul Lands is never the good guy. <laughs> TSR bingo. Ooh, good catch. Good catch. Nice. All right, we got a lot of squares. We got six. Uh, power blast your Vendillion click. Sure. Beats. Sure. I'm at 11. Uh, I will attempt to port and target myself. Okay. Eldrazi sometimes is a good guy. Speaking of Eldrazi, what's up with all the hints about Eldrazi and Strixhaven? Does anybody have any like lore takes on this? I'm not the most savvy with lore, but what does this all mean? How come everything looks like Kozilek? Does anybody have a take on this? What should we be expecting experts in lore? I will pass and put the trigger on the stack. Uh, untap. Upkeep. Sure. I'll move to my draw. Yep. Foreshadowing something. Foreshadowing what? I want you to have know. how many in hand? Four? I have three cards in hand. Three? And I potentially know zero of them. I need someone who knows a lot about the lore to just explain to me what's going on and what is going to happen next. <laughs> Luanel might be right. Maybe Kozilek shows up. Uh, I'll pay three. I will attempt to force pitching force. I'll spell pierce it. Sure. Yikes! Arcane Artisan resolves. Uh, and then I will pass to you with three in hand. Oh, Gavin said that? Okay. Uh, I don't know. There's just a lot of art in uh, Strixhaven that looks like Kozilek. That's it. Uh, slam Cannonballs? Okay. Uh, pass. On tap. Upkeep, draw. Yep. Arcane Artisan is going to be pretty good here. Uh, I'll pass to you. I have four in hand still. Oh, sorry, <laughs> four in hand. I think Cardboard figured it out. Phil Blackman in an earthquake right uh, now. I'm going to crack this flood district. Sure. You're at 16. Uh, I had Phil sanctuary. at 15. Did you get the force last turn? Oh, I did, did not. Did I get everything? I, I did not get the force. I'm sorry. Does that sound right, Phil? Are you at 15? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to put the ponder back on top of my library. Okay. Drop. Cast it. Okay. I think that would be a no-no, Ben. <laughs> you can't just like throw story elements into your art for uh, <laughs> for magic. <laughs> it's definitely done intentionally. They look very, very, very nice. They are very nice. Artists for something like MTG get style guides and what the characters are supposed to look like, what the landscape's supposed to look like. They're given very clear directions on all of that, including if things should look like Eldrazi. So it's definitely on purpose. An artisan targeting myself. Knew that one was happening. I'm sorry? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, draw. Uh, I'll exile Emrakul, creating a token. I got that one, Simon. Emrakul the Aeon's Torn. Okay. Uh, untap. Upkeep. Draw. Move to combat. Yep. Attack uh -oh. for 15 and Annihilator 6. Trigger. Uh, yep, you got me. Wow. Emrakul. <laughs> Arcane Artisan. I, like, that, that card, um, 
like people don't think about it when they you know if you ask somebody name 100 legacy cards they probably wouldn't name that one but it's such a cool legacy card i would definitely agree it gets around those pesky containment priests <laughs> and uh phil how do you feel like miracles usually is uh matched up against decks like seek and show is, is that a bad matchup would you say i felt like uh I'm. I feel very comfortable in the matchup. Okay. Uh, I thought like my my list was well suited. I mean, I opened and I drew a bunch of white cards. Yeah. Um, and then my my hand just didn't line up well against Defense Grid. You know, I I can't tripped. I kept the uh, ponder to try and. Uh, well, early on I had double white cards and I had to Hollywood because I didn't want to show him that my hand was blank. Right. So I tanked on the Defense Grid, knowing that it was gonna resolve. <laughs> to yeah. put a little bit of fear because my, I was like, my hand is trash. So it's like, I draw brainstorm, I draw brainstorm or bust because I've drawn two white cards. Right. So uh, I have, I'm, I'm priced into pyroblasting this Dillion click. And then the second that he pierced my pyroblast to look at my hand, I was like, okay, this, this game is done unless my draws are very kind to me. Um, and then I found the one brainstorm, but the, it didn't, it didn't find me what I needed. Um, I was looking for, I brought in both of my wear tears and uh then the um the what we call it the second spell pierce on the on the arcane artisan uh it was just like you know defense grid lined up so that my hand was blank and my hand was already soft so and uh, how do you how do you um handle terminus in this matchup do you side some out do they stay in and and you still trying to brainstorm terminus on their turn like what's so the i actually i actually boarded out one terminus and three source the plowshares Okay. So uh, the the of the I had one of my two terminus and my only swords in my hand there when you guys saw it. Yeah. Um, I prefer terminus because of things like you just saw. Swords can't touch Emmercool, and so if I can yeah. if I get into a position where you know they the they put an Emmercool into play for some means, but I can then use it. I can terminus to respond. Um, it's just an actually live removal spell. And I'm hoping that the, I keep in I, the source of postures as a hedge against Arcane Artisan. Also, he, I know his board, so he has Vendillion Click, so I can free roll that one. But I'm assuming that Pyroblast is going to do mo most of the work for me there. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I actually, I, I think people, I, I board out the planes and I board in the mountain. But I think uh, of your white cards, all of them are bad, but Terminus is better than Plow. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah, I guess it never really feels that exciting to plow a Grizzlebrand either. You're dead. If you're plowing a Grizzlebrand, you're dead. Yeah. Um, so. the, if if, if Grizzlebrand touches the table, you're dead. But if Emrakul touches the table, you're still alive, as long as it's not hasted. But there's also a position yeah. where if had I not fetched down to 15 there, um, like there's a world where I just get rid of six permanents, leave myself with what, three or four lands, and I can just naturally hit Terminus, and then the game is very much live because I've counter I I have lands and a live deck right um, right right obviously like i'm i that's that would be a horrible position to be in but i'm it's it's not like lights out where if grizzle brand touches the game's over right right and um cory how do you ma uh handle sideboarding from your side do you do you trim on combo what, what what's the approach so on the draw, I often trim on, a lot of people uh, think this is a mistake, but I trim on Force of Wills. I don't like to play the resource game against uh, Phil because yeah. um, a, lot of their, a lot of the time their resource game is, uh, they win in their resource game. They win in that fight. So I try and uh, bring in more things like Vendillion Click, Jace the Mind Sculptor, uh, things to keep me in combat when it comes to uh, resources um, and things to help con fight against Containment Priest. So in my hand, I still had another Vendillion click and a Jace the Mind Sculptor. So I knew if I got the Annihilator 6 off, things were still going to be good, even if he Terminus. Um, but yeah. yeah, the goal is to try and get hand information just so I know when to go and uh, have some sort of draw engine if at all possible. And I obviously I bring in uh, Defense Grid because any counter spell deck, you really just bring in Defense Grid. Yeah, I, I guess that's pretty cool that you're uh, setting out some forces. So you don't you don't trim any combo pieces though, like the show and tell sneak attacks. You just build on top of that. No, definitely. Uh, in against miracles, I generally don't. Uh, in the past, I used to trim on omniscience, uh, okay. but because of containment priest, I have to keep omniscience in so I can hard cast things. 
Right. So, right, right, right. Uh, plus, I've also hard cast Omniscience against Miracles before. It was great. 